What's up you guys, Nathan Bell here, doing a Funko review on Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. I have never played this game before, but I do plan on playing it, so hopefully when I review the other figures from this wave, I will have some knowledge of these characters. I picked Foxy up at Walmart, and the price point on these is actually very good, man. I, I think they are. They're only, I think, $11 or $12, and it does come with a Builder figure piece. How cool is that? So before we get Foxy opened up, let's just take a quick look at the packaging that he or she came in, because I'm not really sure if it's a he or she. So you just get the cool bubble with the card back. You got a pretty terrifying looking picture of Freddy there. Looks like he's about to eat your face off, man. And it does have the bubble, and you see the figures on the inside, of course. It says Foxy, and then it says collect all five Five Nights at Freddy's figures and build your own spring trap. Includes head and torso, right on. Then on the back, you have a picture of all five figures, and then with the build a figure. So you get Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, or I think I'm pronouncing that right, Golden Freddy, Foxy, and then you get the build the figure spring trap. Look at all the detail on that, man. I think that looks very cool. So let's get Foxy opened up and take a closer look what's inside. Here is Foxy out of the packaging, and honestly, it's a pretty decent figure, man. I actually really, really, really like it. I said way too many reallys there. I, I was definitely confused. But anyways, before we get into Foxy, let's just take a quick look at the build the figure piece that he or she came with. Man, this thing is wicked. Take a look at the detail, honestly. You got some like red wires it looks like, the fur's all ripped apart, you got some more wires coming out of the top of the ear. The ears are not articulated, but I do like the wash, like in the fur you get some black going on, man, very cool. And the head honestly has a pretty decent range of motion. It's better on Foxy, which I will get into later on in the video. But look how scary that is, you know, imagine waking out of a deep sleep and just seeing that two inches from your face, man, look at that. I'm coming to get you, <laughs> it's just so terrifying. So let's get back to Foxy. The head sculpt on this thing is wicked. Just look at that. On the back of the packaging, all right, it's got Foxy and the eye patch is up, but I just tried for like five minutes to try to get that eye patch up and I just couldn't. Maybe the picture on the back was just what they thought about doing and then they just never went through with it because that thing's glued down. I don't even see a hinge to get it up, but I definitely tried. So if it does lift up, I apologize because I just can't get it. So the deal with Five Nights at Freddy's is I believe it's just, uh, so you're a clerk or something, and then um, the guy's like, oh, you know, they like to get up and move around. They're just old animatronic animals, I guess. And then you got to stop them from getting into the room, which, you know, I talk shit now saying like, oh, that's not scary, you know. But if I'm up at 3 a.m. and I start playing that game, I'm going to be pretty terrified, which I feel like a lot of us would be. But anyways, back to the figure. The paint's actually really decent on this. You guys just got that yellow pupil right there. You got some cool brown eyebrows going on. I like how they painted the inside of the ears. It's got three tiny hairs up here. It definitely looks like a fox, at least. You know, you got the snout, some teeth. They actually sculpted the teeth very nicely. You got the holes for the whiskers, no whiskers. You got some sideburns going on. The eye patch is just black. There's no shading or anything. Man, this thing is just freaky, dude. I, I just, it is scary. Then on the back, you just got some dirt. You know, these things are old. You know, they have to look beat up and scary. You know, they, if it's brand new, you know, not missing any chunks of fur or anything, man, it's just, just not scary. You know, it's just not scary. Nothing going on underneath the chin. So I'm just going to go through the articulation and the sculpt work at the same time because there's not really a lot of it. So the head actually has very a very good range of motion. You know, it can go side to side. It can go that way, forward, back. It can turn. It looks like it's on kind of like a like a ball joint up there, and then it's on a hinge downward because you can see how uh, I can move the neck a little bit, and then I can use the hinge too. So very cool, man. Not bad for an $11 toy. The midsection, it looks like, is just missing some fur on the front. It looks like it's got some piping in there. It's pretty cool. Nothing going on down there. That's just a black spot. So they definitely chinsed out. Oh, and that hand, man, that is a pain right in the ass. That You just can't even touch the figure without that hand falling out. So be very careful of that. The fur has some nice dirt on it though, you know, it's not just plain. So he doesn't come with a hand. Nah, I'm just kidding. So the hand definitely pops off very easily. So just be careful. You know, if you have kids, if they get a hold of it, you might as well kiss this hand goodbye because you will not find it. It's got a very nice chrome paint though. And the uh, the sculpting on it is actually very cool. It definitely looks like it's a, a robotic hand. Not a whole lot of sculpting going on the inside, which is okay, but the outside looks very badass. You know, you got your three fingers, of course, and you got your thumb. So you got these kind of sculpted rectangular, you know, shapes in there. Pretty cool. And it just pops in, and like I said, that just, 
you know, and that just comes right off, which isn't a big deal. And there goes the arm. I can just pop that. The whole articulation system on this figure is just, it's all ball joints. It's nothing else besides the little tiny hinge inside the chest. It's almost on that, you know, kind of pattern like you got the one and then you got the bar coming across. I believe that's what it's like on the inside. The arms are okay, just some black paint, just orange. Like I said, you got some of that like rustic coloring going throughout the figure. It does have some nice sculpt work on the shoulder pad. So his arm can go out about that far and it can go down, it can move forward, but it is very tough. So just be very careful that you don't break the ball joint off the little bar going across. And then you get Captain Hook over here that has some paint on it. I thought the paint was, that looks a little different. Like this looks shinier, but yeah, it's, I think it actually definitely is shinier. It looks like it in person anyways. On camera, it almost looks the same. The hook doesn't really have a lot of sculpt. I can just actually take that off. It doesn't have a lot of sculpt work going on. Uh, just basically a hook. It's not sharp by any means, but you do get some black underneath with that sculpted kind of swoop right there. And then it goes from the, it's all around it. You do also get that cool dirt, uh, you know, in the orange like the rest of the figure does have. And it just pops on real easy. I don't think you can honestly break any of the ball joints besides the shoulders. Be very careful with those. And, okay, that's just going to stay off, man. I don't even... Oh, his hand's right there. He's got these brown pants that also have some black dirt over him. Same thing with the swoops with the black. This is actually sculpted in, and then it's painted black, so it's not just black paint. Get some more going on there in the back. Just get another one of those. Get that dirt continues. It does have this kind of bumpy texture to it which is like it's metal you know with fur on it so it definitely makes sense the legs are painted silver very cool he's got just two toes does have some sculpt work going on i really like the silver paint that they picked it actually makes the figure pop very well does not have peg holes at the bottom of his feet but if you were looking to get uh, some numbers man you are definitely in luck so there you go made in china right on with a uh, NV 152, so I'm gonna guess that's Nevada. No, I can't be right. I, I was just taking a guess. Um, and then not a whole lot going on, but as he can move his legs out about that far, and then he does have he can kick up about that far, which isn't very far at all. But what are you really gonna do with this figure? And then he can. Okay, that just like I said, man, it's so easy to snap these off. And then uh, can kind of go back a tiny amount. And then, like I said, it moves forward. does have that ball joint on the knee, which can go down. It can also pop up a little bit. And if you wanted to, you could turn it side to side, depending on what stance you wanted him in. So all in all, I do like this figure. I think it's pretty cool. You know, for the price point, it's only, like I said, I think $11 or $12. And it does come with that cool Build-A-Figure piece, which I'm actually very excited to build. I'm going to bring that back in the shot. Look how mean that thing looks. God damn, that's scary, man. Face to face, they're roughly probably all about the same size. Freddy might be a little bit taller. I'm trying to remember when I saw him in the store, but I could be wrong. But anyways, that is my review, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.